435 coming up the winter road here in just a moment. Okay, uh, James was saying he may have hit somebody around that corner. Uh, and uh, Chris to speed, so he's going to get off at Winter Road. And uh, yeah, okay. You can see the guy is now on foot, running across this big expanse of the interchange at Winter Road. Police are going to zero in on this guy pretty quick. You can see the patrol cars come out, and this is not going to work out well for him at all in that big open field. Yeah, he's going to be meet by an officer real quick and a dog. Here goes the dog. Yeah, he's not going to last long like that. Yeah, they're just trying to subdue him right now. The dogs are trained not to necessarily injure him, but just to grab him and to shake them and to keep them from going any any further. It's basically just a, a submission maneuver right there. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of officers around the car. We'll, we'll go ahead and pan over to the car and give you an idea what's going on there. I don't think there's anybody in there that I can tell, but uh, we'll take a look at that. There you go, James, right there. Yeah, good timing there as the uh, canine unit just happened to be at the bottom of that, uh, at the Winter Road uh, ramp off of 435 and uh, was able to meet this guy as he was running towards Winter Road. So, uh, you know, kind of good luck there in the sense that uh, I know I don't know if this guy was armed or what his intentions were as he came over Winter Road. You know, a lot of times these guys will try to carjack somebody, but uh, boy, Kansas City Police all over this and uh, and really a great opportunity for that canine to take this guy down. It may have looked kind of bad, Krista, but I'm sure there's no serious injury to that individual. But, uh, you know, as this thing, as these chases go, that was about as good an end to it as you can get. 